Do you want to know how to create the perfect skin tones for your videos? Do you find it difficult to find the, the right skin tones for your videos or photos? Then this is definitely the, the video for you to watch. Hello everybody, welcome back here to another video here. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to stay updated about how you can create beautiful videos by editing them under the Pinch Resolve. Let's dive in right immediately about how to find the direct, the right skin tones for your videos or photos. This recording purposes, I already prepared something for you. I just grabbed one of the pictures which you can find online and I'm gonna use this as an example for you to that you really can see and understand is what it takes to create that beautiful skin tones in your videos. What you can see here, there's a girl here on the photo, but the entire environment, the entire scene is a little bit misty or it's a little bit too much lighting and it's quite boring to look at it. What we're gonna do here is, before we start here, I already created a note here, the first note, that's the raw version, so nothing has been edited, nothing has been added to it. It's just the original photo, what I get from the camera instead. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a couple of extra notes here, serial notes. And the first one, I'm gonna give that the label primary. So those, this note I'm gonna use to um, add the first edits for this particular photo. So I, first thing I want to do is, this is the particular shot what we have here. And this is what I call the hero shot because the subject or what we want to talk about is, is this person in general. But we want to make sure that she stands out more from the entire scene. So what we're gonna do is, it's quite simple, but bear with me. The first thing you're gonna do is, you're just gonna decrease the lift and increase the gamma here because we want to make sure that she stands out a little bit more. And also the contrast, I'm gonna put it a little bit more higher and see, you can see already the difference, but it's just a little bit too dark left. So I'm gonna make a little bit lighter. So that the jacket is just, you can see the difference, the structure of the jacket as well. And also the gamma on the And contrast. Yes. Compare it with each other. Well, that's look perfect. And saturation, I'm gonna increase it just a little bit. So you already create that little bit of filmy look because you want to make sure that the person in this case stands out, in this case from the background. So you want to make sure that the person in this case it uh, you can create a kind of 3d effect so especially in the side by her hair you can look a little bit if it's a little bit sharper compared to the background then you already know you're on the right direction gonna compare it with the original one well it looks good let's see what else can we do here okay um, saturation i already did that and i'm gonna do also increase a little bit of more gain and oh yeah, that's something I also want to mention here. If we right click and then say show the scopes, we can see here the scopes, but as you can see, it's touching the bottom and the high end, but we're gonna do that by, we want to make sure to create a little bit more space for ourselves. So we have some room to play around with the colors later on. too much there you are and then the back side is that as well and let's see what's happening here as you can see here it looks quite amazing already but we're not done yet we're gonna put the saturation a little bit higher just a slight there you are. As you can see here, you see already the difference between the green background, the blurry background, and the brown hair here, just the transition of it. 
that looks quite good because it also gives her the idea that she stands out from her background. And that's what we're going to create in our primaries as well. I'm gonna create a second note here. And this note, I'm gonna call it the saturation. There it is. And in the saturation option, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go wild here. Or as you can see, contrast go a little bit further. And from there out, we're just gonna adjust it a little bit or say, okay, that's good. Contrast is a little bit too high. No, we don't want that misty effect. We're just gonna do it just in that range that she remains stands out a little bit more, not too uh, white. Just, and we just want to make sure that she stands out a little bit more, just uh, a good image to look at. And we're gonna compare it a little bit with each other. Well, wow, looks good already. And after that, we're gonna create another note. And in this one, we're gonna concentrate on our skin tones. And I'm gonna give that the label U versus the reason why I call that U because that uh, gives me the, so I know for sure, okay, what uh, am I particularly doing this in this layer or with this node? So I'm working with a U fraction, with saturation that I'm only concentrating about the saturation of the image the primary is just the first basics about editing. You want to make sure that your hero, the person or the object stands out from the background. So the focus is really on the person. So as you can see here, with that one, you versus you, that's a major difference already, but we are not there yet because we want to make sure we want to get a little, little bit of that uh, red cheek, cheek and we want to stand out a little bit more. We're gonna adjust a little bit more editing of the skin tones and the coloring. And we're gonna just do that. What we do is we're gonna select the hue versus hue. And then we choose the qualifier. And we're just gonna select the her skin there. We're gonna widen this a little bit because here in the view you will see that that particular section selection section is selected and we're just going to play around a little bit to see what's happening with. as you can see here the the moment that i press it a little bit higher her um, skin is getting yet more red we don't want to do that we just want to give that that special filmy look here and just a little bit more right side left side no not too much this one, no, that's too, looks like the Hulk. We don't want to do that like that. I think that's quite good. You can already see the little bit of difference in the color of the skin, but we want to do the same thing in another section of the skin as well. Well, I want to make sure that the hue versus saturation Change that, the fire, choose that again, and again, a player up. I want to give her a layer of this to red, that is to red. Just you can see immediately the result, it's just adjusting just a slight little bit more. Because you want to maintain the natural color of the skin. And as you can see there, yeah, it's a little bit too red still. So it's oversaturated. That was quite good. And then the hue versus illumination. I choose that again. And let's just play around with it. Ah, there we are. As you can see here, this is the way we want her to look at. You can recognize it quite immediately at the moment when you're playing around with the with the use. 
and the cursor and there you will immediately see the result on your image in this case and that will give you the idea of an okay this is the way how i want to represent the person so just for an example if you want to have a scene that she has to look like she uh, is a little bit ill in a movie or she is a little bit mad you can add all those effects with coloring by just simply adjusting the curves here the waves here the bottom here gives it yeah it's quite an unnaturally look but you want to give her just the thing that it's nice to see her and you're going to see the same thing with the saturation also just a little bit wider we have more space to play around with as you can see there and there it's a major difference already and what we else what we want to do is with saturation view versus saturation we want to make sure that the background will help her a little bit more as you can see here it will select the green version of it and as you know here you can see the green what's happening with it but we just don't want to overdo it because we want to keep the focus on her and not on her background. But the color green that will help her to stand out more and just to stay in that effect. Saturation also increase just a little bit more. Then compare it to each other. I don't see a major difference. If I just a little bit nearer to the bottom. Yeah, you see a slight difference already. And this will help you to determine to make your person or subject in this case to stand out more by just playing around with the skin tones of her and just try things out how it works and maybe you can do also a little bit more with the hair the hair here so change that as well hair stands out a little bit more not too much because we don't want to look hard to a person with too much makeup. Yeah, that's much better. As you can see here now is that with just a couple of steps, we already increased the look of this person and to grade that natural skin tone. It's not just about uh, editing the skin tone or the skin itself or the person itself, but it's all a combination with playing around with the backgrounds and adjusting the colors, the saturation, the contrast. And also when that is in effect, you also create a little bit of difference with the person itself. So you have to see the entire picture itself, but you also want to tell yourself, okay, I want that person to look more naturally. I want that person to stand out from the entire scene. So that's the entire idea, because if you want your audience who are looking for your videos, or your photos, they can immediately know that you uh, attract them to the right direction, in this case, to the, to the person and not concentrating on the background because they say, hey, what's going on with her? Who is she? People want to know who she is. And that is how it works. Okay, well, I hope that you like this video and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my video. And I see you again in my next one. Talk to you soon.